So, we are here in the first um, episode of What the Fuck, WTF, and we are with none other than the legendary, if you want to call it that, team manager of Minerva Punjab, club owner also, Mr. Ranjit Bajaj. So, um, Mr. Bajaj, firstly, I want to congratulate you for uh, making that move from selling motorbikes. Thank you, thank and, you. Uh, you. It's know, a very big move. And especially, coming into owning a football team. Especially letting go of the Pulsar brand, which is really close to my heart. Mm. Yes. As I actually made sure that I designed that bike, mm. got it out of the market. Right. Now giving it up is really, really hurtful. You still get a lot of Twitter fans on Twitter asking for the bike stone. Yes, you? yes. Now I told them that I've got nothing to do with the company. Please go on and talk to the other Bajaj. It's a shame because you know, you're well known for that. And uh, well, you know, uh, there's a bit of a comparison there with you and uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, President of India, because he started selling tea, right? Yeah. You started selling bikes. Yeah. So do you have any plans of maybe one day running the country? No, I don't think I, I'll be able to run the country because I think the country is run by the same kind of people who run football in, in India. That's interesting, yeah. You say that they're doing a good job, but um, What's happening with the Hero League? You see, it's just all uncertainty and people in power should be more decisive and when they take actions, they should back themselves. They are afraid of taking decisions all the time. So that happened when Super Cup happened. All the teams were there. So they keep on talking about us abandoning Super Cup. We were there. Gokulam was there. Chennai was there. We were all staying in hotels. We paid for the flights, we stayed there for three days waiting for them to just say, okay, we'll have a meeting with you. They didn't. The same way, three days ago, we talked to AFF and Gokulam travelled all the way for the Arrows match. Trao travelled all the way to Srinagar from Manipur for the Kashmir match and Icewall came all the way from Icewall for our match. And just before, five minutes before the press conference, we were informed that all matches have been called off. But surprisingly, the ISL final, which was supposed to happen after that press conference, still happened. So, I mean, the rules should be the same for everyone. I'm not saying that we should be playing football at this time when everything else is shut. But if it's shut, then it should have been shut for everything. Completely understand that, um, that perception that you have, no? that football should be shut for everyone, not just for a select few. I was just wondering or hoping or thinking that maybe the AIFF knew that there was going to be a coronavirus outbreak in Ludhiana at 2 o'clock today. So that's why I think they cancelled it, just to prevent no. everything from happening. To prevent the, the hundreds of thousands going to the Ludhiana <laughs> stadium. See, probably the Ludhiana is the safest place to have it because you got hardly any crowd control troubles. <laughs> why do you have no fans? Because see, they tell me it's because your commentator which comes and commentates your game is just so fucking smelly that it's impossible to actually hold your breath. And then I tell them that don't be racist just because he's a white guy. He's not smelly. He says, no, who that guy is, he's so smelly. And so unless you get him out, we're not going to be coming to the stadium. So I appeal to AFF that we can't have smelly, stinky people who don't have baths to come to our stadium, especially with the coronavirus going on. It's very tough. Now I'm losing money over this guy, man. Yeah. I know. Completely understand. Mm. Thankfully, I don't know who this guy is, so mm. I can't really say you know, but if I meet him, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. you'll right. smell him, smell him for a while, Definitely. a mile off. Let's talk about something that you absolutely love. Mm. 